Hey guys, you're watching official ZenLab tutorials and this video tutorial is about list processing. So we are going to operate with specific action from the toolbar. We already have a list in our project. Okay, let's take a look how it looks. We click twice on list icon and we see that we have two items with collection of sites separated by comma and we have separator for list like new line enter. I'm going to change file one txt where from I read data and put there some URLs. Okay we have four sites. I save changes to this file and open again Project Maker. You can see changes applied to our list. So we have four items here. And now what we are going to do? We will take one of these URL from the list and then navigate to it. Okay, I add a action. Go to page from tabs category. Okay, it looks so. We have here URL field. Okay, this URL we will take from list. I drag and drop list processing action, clicking twice, and I have control of this action opened. First of all, we should cho choose list, we have only one. And then the actions that we want to do. It's get line action. Here we can specify the number of element from list. I prefer either do it from the first line or is it random. So let it be random line. And also we can delete line after taking it. I also tick this checkbox because I don't want to URL be repeated and navigate to the same site twice. We delete the line after using it. And we put this URL to variable. We don't have created any variables. Let's create a new one. Let's call it URL. Okay, create. Then we have a button. This button to copy the URL macro to clipboard. Click it and it's copied to clipboard. Now we open go to page control by pressing control plus V. Hotkey we put here variable macro. Okay. Then I close it and we should connect start with the very first action. Okay, like this. I save the project and let's run debug. Click run debug. Okay, we get instance window. Click next. Ah, I see that Facebook URL was written wrong. Let's change it right now here. Okay, it's our first site. Then click next and execution is finished. As you know, we save all changes of the list to a file. So now after first execution, Facebook URL was removed from the list and it also has to be removed from a file. Let's check it. Yes. Not part told us that the file was updated. Click yes and we see that we have now only three items less. Let's close and continue debug again. We can click to breakpoint to go to the final execution. Okay, the second site also was taken from file from our list. We have two more executions. Next it's Google. And the last one should be Twitter. And after that we don't have any items in our list and file. You see that now our list is empty. And file also is empty. 
so if we run debug again and go to this action get line it will go by this exit unsuccessful exit because no lines anymore in our list let's check it create alert with message no more lines it's kind of warning connect it such a way so unsuccessful exit with this action and start debug again okay you can see here alert no more lines okay okay that's all I wanted to explain in this tutorial thank you for watching bye